Music is just like sugar, Mom. Too much of it makes you sick. Oh, not me, Pop. I love it. Well, when Buster plays, you would. Sure. Buster can play. He really can. I like it. And so does Laura. Please, Lolly, don't tell anyone I wrote it. If you say not to, I won't, but I want to. Thanks. It's your song. Mine? Nobody else's. Oh, I love it. Each day when words are My thoughts are all for Always I want to find my child. A man to die Let me bask in your smile. Without you. I'm not satisfied. I want to be lonely, for when I'm lonely, I'm blue. I just want to be somewhere, somewhere happy with you. Got a sweet disposition, it's just as nice as can be. And my intuition said you're just the one for me. I like lots of loving, and you like loving too. When we get together, you should know I'll be willing to be. I don't want to be lonely, for when I'm lonely, I'm lonely. I just want to be somewhere, somewhere happy. Lord knows, Brother Simpsons, I did the best I could. Uh, you did that, Sister Jenkins. The rest is up to Buster. Oh, you want to be very happy, Sister Jenkins. I am happy. Buster can do the things I wanted to do, what his father wanted to do. He can play the piano, he can write music, he can read it. But could he make a living at it? And if he could, could he make a chair? Well, Reverend Juniper is hired as a trained choir and pay for the singing at the church. I read Reverend June's campaign enough to take care of himself. And I'll never give my consent as long as he keeps putting his hand. He's got to go to work and stop plunking my piano all day and half tonight. Oh, shame on you. Buster doesn't twiddle his hand. He doesn't clunk. He plays. It's all right with me. I ain't kicking as long as he stops playing around Lolly. He ain't playing, Brother Simpson. He's serious. Too serious. And Lolly could do much worse. Yeah, she could do much better. Uh, letting a good boy like Arnie slip through her fingers don't make sense. Buster is a good, God-fearing, church-going boy. And if Lolly wants him, I'm not going to stand in her way. And you ain't neither. Oh, why can't I get a job like Arnie? He works day in and day out. And drinks like a bitch. And cusses like a sailor. Boss, here's your meal for the day. Well, thank you, thank you, Big. Let me see. Uh, what have you got here? Bill. 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 
bill. The law bill. It can't be no bill big as this. Uh oh, all Lulu by Unit Green. Doggone, that cat still send them in. You know, someday he's gonna have something here, Pig. You think so, Walt? Think so. Look what it says here. Talk about a jubilation. I just got some information, and I am so happy I could fly. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> you better fly over that piano and see how that thing goes down. Well, let's flew over there and tap it out. We may have something here that can send us right on off that way. Look at that. Miss <laughs> Lulu, my best gal. Talk about a jubilation. I just got some information. And I am so happy I could fly. My best gal, that's so exquisite, will be here to pay a visit. And we're going to marry by and by. Get that ring ready, son. Oh, oh, Lulu. My little darling Lulu, oh how I miss my Lulu, oh yes indeed I do. I'm almost cuckoo about my sweetie Lulu, and so my little Lulu is almost cuckoo too. Now when I'm acting funny, she says, stop it honey, that will cost you money, be careful what you do. Ow, ow, Lulu, my precious little Lulu. Oh, how I love my Lulu. Oh, yes, indeed I do. Now when I'm acting funny, she says, stop it, honey. That will cost you money. Be careful what you do. Ow, ow, Lulu, my precious little Lulu. Oh, how I love my Lulu. Oh, yes, indeed I do. I love my Lulu, see, I do. <laughs> Can't change that when it's love, love, love. <laughs> I guess I better sign him up before somebody else grabs it. Man, uh, how about the hunk of tin? Will she reverberate? Reverberate? Yes, sir. She pours like a Maltese kitten. She'll percolate, oscillate, and revaporate. <laughs> oh, God. Well, warm up. We're right. Riding where, boss? Junction 88. Oh, Junction 88? Is that a place? So what do you think it is? Sound like a song title to me. Something G. Hose it has. That's what it is. Yeah? Yeah, man, get the chariot ready uh, while I jump this jive down. Okay, yeah. boss. Come go along to Junction 88. Well, I back your old grip. Come take the trip to Junction 88. Oh boy, what joy at Junction 88. Clean as a whistle, good humor whistle. And there'll be great sights at Junction 88. There'll be a load. Come get a boat for Junction 88. 88, Junction, a Junction 88. Whoa, whoa, a Junction 88. Now let me see if I can put a little boogie to this and get something out of this. Oh. 
right. Tear it up. Tear it up. Well, Pig, what are you doing down under that car? Boss, I'm trying to fix this doggone crate with steering gear. It just won't percolate. Up on the hill? Yes, sir. Man, who informed you? Who, you? Yeah. You don't know nothing about fixing no car. Uh, don't care? I can sew, can I? Yeah. I can cook, can I? Yeah. I can frame, can I? Yeah. I can press your clothes, can I? Well, uh... Well, I can, I can drive this lugger, can I? Well, uh, yes, but, uh, you... Oh, and I can fix it, too. Oh, man, you ain't no... Good afternoon, Sister Jane. How to do, Reverend? How to do. Reverend, I'm worried about Buster. Don't worry, Sister Jenkins. Buster's going to be all right. I want him to be happy, but he's only happy with his music. Can't you pay him just a little bit more? Oh, I'd like to do that more than anything in the world, Sister Jane. But how can I? Our congregation is small and, worst of all, impoverished. Shamefully impoverished. That's right. Buster could go away, and he probably will. I miss him, but I wish he would. Only I'm afraid that he can't play well enough for that. For big cities, I suppose not. But Buster's going to be all right. God has given him a gift, and he's using it to the best of his understanding for the glory of God. And when we use what God gives for his sake, we can't help but profit by it. Thank you, Ray. Take it from me, Mom. If I was him, I'd coat like other boys and stop plunking songs nobody's ever heard. Oh, don't be such an old foggle pop. Let the young folks alone. Let them love. Let them dream. <laughs> I don't want to be lonely, for when I'm lonely, I'm blue. I just want to be somewhere, somewhere happy with you. Got a sweet disposition. It's just as nice as can be. And my intuition says you're just the one for me. I like lots of loving. And you like loving, too. When we get together, we should know how to spill and coo. I don't want to be alone. For when I'm blue, I'm blue. I just want to be somewhere, somewhere happy.
Oh, uh, excuse me, lady. It's not money I want. Well, if you're hungry, you come back by supper time, six o'clock. Oh, lady, I'm not hungry. I'm lost. Well, what you want me to do, find you? Oh, no, ma'am. You see, madam, I'm looking for Junction 88. That's what I'm looking for. Junction 88? Yes, ma'am. Well, this is it. Oh, right here? You stand at the edge of Junction 88 right now. But if you want to get to the center, you just go straight ahead. Oh, I see. Well, all right. Well, is you sure this is Junction 88? Now it's gone here. If you want to find out anything else, go straight down to the barbershop. They'll tell you anything you want to know. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, how far is the barbershop? Oh, not far. About two hops and a jump. Uh, two hops and a jump. All right. Thank you very much. How much further, Pig? Well, boss, this is it. What? We're right on the edge. Well, where's the center? Oh, uh, two hops and a jump. Oh. Lolly, Lolly. Oh, excuse me. I didn't know you had company. Oh, but you don't be like that. It's just Donnie. Oh, I, I just dropped by. I'm leaving now. You don't have to hurry, honey. Bucky ain't jealous. No, that ain't the way I heard it. Are you, Bucky? Not right now. I ain't got time. I got great news. Guess who we're going to have at our concert tonight? Who? Noble Sicily, and some of his men. Noble Cecil? You don't mean the Noble Cecil. How and why? They broke down. Got to wait 24 hours for parts for their bus. She ain't that lucky. Who well, that's I need? Reverend Juniper ain't going to allow them to play in that recreation room. Oh, yes, he will. You bet he will. Too bad you don't go to church sometimes, Donnie. Don't fool yourself. I'll be there tonight. I'll be there from now on. Don't give me no G.I. could. I had enough of them to last a lifetime. I ain't give you none, Jimmy. And I hope it'll never be necessary for no father to give you one. You or nobody else. Got a job yet, Jimmy? No, I ain't even got no clothes yet. But with the help of my rich uncle, I hope to go into business soon. Business? Yeah, a couple of trucks. Good for you. My two boys are going back to school. Good for them. I would, too. Only I got three kids to support. Howdy, gentlemen. Oh, oh yeah. Get them home. that lives in this town. Not, I don't know him. Any of you folks know Unit Green? Well, look here, is this Junction 88? When you come here, that's where you are. Oh, well, he must live here. Uh, I have a letter from him. What kind of looking fella is he? I don't know, man. I ain't never seen him. Do you know him? By that name? No. I run the little barber shop here. Anywhere nearby. If I don't know it, you don't get a haircut. Everybody does. Hey, you know that's mighty funny. Huh? Maybe, but you can bet he don't live here. You can bet my clippers on that. Well, I heard it. He must be here somewhere. 
I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll stick around for a few days. Well, what will you pay to stay around here? Sure, he like rest and over on the corner. Maybe I can help you gentlemen find him. How can you, Chinky Pins? They don't know who he is. You don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. You don't know where to look when you don't know, know who to look for, do you? Well, thank you anyway. Mind if I show you? Oh, you don't, don't, do, don't do that. I was just trying to help. Help? Help me kill myself? Well, come on. Maybe you can show us to the Eli anyway. Thank you. Kind of you, I'm sure. Doggone, look at that chick. That's my girl, I hope. Well, knock me down, Jack. Knock me down. Hello, Lolly. Hello, Lolly. Lolly, these gentlemen are looking for a man by the name of Eunice Green. Do you know him? Eunice Green? Never heard of him. You ever heard of Eunice Green? I would have. He lived here. Well, I'll tell you what it's all about. You see, we're on our way to the Eli for supper. Will you join us? No, thank you. I'm going to church. Our choir is giving a concert. Tell the truth, Lolly. Uh, Buster's really sore. Buster never shows off. Oh, it's your big moment, I presume. <laughs> He's our choir leader. The dope. Uh, may we come to your concert? Of course. We'll be glad to have you. And by the way, I wanted to introduce uh, Caroline. Caroline? Caroline? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, that reminds me. I get a feeling most every evening that I can't understand. Until I stop talking and start to walking, and then I another man. When I'm walking with Caroline, look at me, look at me, happy as she can be. <laughs> Everybody along the line, they're jealous as they can be. She's one gal that is super fine. What a vision you see someday be when I'm walking with Caroline. Come on, honey. And she is walking with me. <laughs> now, when I'm walking with Caroline, I do my job. And she is walking with me. Everybody I line the line. They're just as jealous as they can be. She's one gal that is super fine. What a vision you see some baby when I'm walking with Caroline. <laughs> and she's walking with me. Come on, I don't know. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, Reverend. Reverend. It's a great idea, Reverend Juniper, allowing the young folks to arrange their own affairs. Well, if we ought to look out for our congregations as the moral sister, Simpson, we must look after our children today. That's right. Junction 80 is mighty proud of Buster, Sister Jackie. They should be. He's a born leader. At least I hope so. But to tell the truth, I don't know. It's just what I wanted, Reverend. A part time job. I will be glad to accept it. You will have plenty of time to continue with your mission. Thanks for speaking for me. Your mother thanks about your future. Good evening, Reverend. Good evening, Lolly. I've just met the two most exciting men, and they're coming to our concert, too. Quite exciting. Buster, the Central Orchestra, and now two more strangers. What's happening to Junction 80? These men. What do they look like? Oh, important, big town folks. Did you invite them? No, sir. They asked to come themselves. Must be religious minded. Oh, I'm sure they are. I can't understand what it's up here. They said they were looking for a fellow. What did they call him? Uh, Unit Green. Who did you say? Unit Green. Do you know him? Mm, sounds familiar. Do you read him, Jennifer? No, but if they stay around till next Sunday morning services, I'll announce. I'm quite sure if Unit Green ever lived around here, someone would know. I was just wondering if the strangers would like our little shindig. Well, they should. We're good. I hope so. 
Hear that tune, Pete? Uh, what tune? Man first in the barber shop and now here. Oh, Bob, you must live here. Uh, say, Pete. Huh? How does the rules look? Okay, landlady too. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey. Huh? Keep your mind on your work, boy. We came here to find you in the green. Oh, that's right. Well, I didn't mean about Reverend Juniper, I'd like you to meet Noble Sibyl, the band leader. Glad to know you. Mr. I'm very pleased to meet you also, Reverend. He and some of his boys are stuck here. They've got to wait for parts for their bus that broke down. And we'd like to have the boys wait for number. I think that's very nice, but... Well, it really will be a privilege and a pleasure to play for such a worthy cause, and you're really to be congratulated upon the wonderful work you're doing for the young people. Thank you. I'm sorry my whole orchestra can't play, but after all, the bus didn't break down. None of us have been able to play with it. <laughs> but let's make it a surprise. That's a good idea, Buster. I didn't think you'd come, Arnie. Oh, hello, Mr. Uh, 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 Bob Howard. You just call me Bob. Plain Bob, Lolly. A uh, pygmy. Pygmy without the dress. Won't you come over and meet our pastor? Oh, yes. Where is it? Oh, oh. Reverend Juniper, I'd like to introduce Mr. Howard and Mr. Pygmy. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to... Well, thank you, Rev. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Such a friendly place. Yes, sir. And it's just like home. That's just the way we strive to make. And these are my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Simpson. It's a pleasure. I hope you enjoy yourself while you're here. I'm very glad to meet you both. Proud to meet you both. Your daughter is the kind of girl to brag about. <laughs> she is that. She's delightful. She's lovely. She is gorgeous. <laughs> so long yet when I have someone else I'd like well, to Well, take us home. These are the gentlemen I was talking about, Buster. Oh, uh, uh, pleased to know you, uh, both of you. Bus is responsible for our concert. He's our teacher and our choir leader. And we, we just couldn't do without him. Well, uh, you should be a very proud young man, Buster. Yeah, you should be very proud and happy. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. But both of you. Show them to us, he's lovely. It's about time we got started. Uh, pardon me, Buster, but I don't know how to say it. Uh, I don't know whether I should say it. But my friend and I would like to help entertain your folks. Ain't that right, Big? Oh, right. Right as any fool on anybody's table. <laughs> I have a number I wrote. Maybe the band would play it for us. Of course, we'd be glad. Very glad. Good deal. Dear Father, we have gathered here tonight for a little innocent entertainment and joyful companionship, one with the other. And we beseech you, dear Father, to bless these young people who have prepared this entertainment for us. And may your love abide with them always. Amen. 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 As usual, Buster will be our master of ceremony. Oh. And I know we younger folks would try to live so as to deserve the blessing that he has asked to be bestowed on us tonight. How about it, folks? Yeah. And now I have a surprise for you. Due to an accident, for which I am very grateful, we have with us noble children. <laughs> Chinkapin, the youngest member of our choir, will start us off as usual in one verse of my country history. My country is of the sweet land of liberty, of the Oh, 
always voice a sound when it changes. But it's okay now, eh, folks? <laughs> and now, here they are. Not on a picture, not on a record, but in person. Noble sisters. All right, fellas, let's play that number that Bob wrote. Wanna have fun? Come on along to Junction 88. Pack your grip. Come along to Junction 88. Oh, boy, what joy at Junction 88. Clean as a whistle. Cause you my bristle And there will be great sights At Junction 88 There'll be a load Stroll along to Junction 88 88 Junction 88 <laughs> consistent, it's as plain as ABC, that I know all the ups and downs. Listen to me, pig, now. Yeah. Right through to XYZ. 
I read Latin, Greek, and Danish. I speak Russian, Dutch, and Spanish. And I've traveled every place that there is to go. Even been to Rome and San Juan Center. I visit Europe every winter. Please tell me one thing that I always wanted to know. What's that, Dave? Where does the wind go? I don't know. When the wind don't blow. Well, since you ask me, let me ask you. Where does the wind go? That's what I want to know. Now, it don't go west, for I've been there, and it don't go east, but it goes somewhere. Hey, listen. When it blows, it goes. That's what I know. But where does the wind go? I didn't know you could sing, Pig. When, when the wind don't blow. <laughs> don't go on a wing, got it, too. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know you could sing. No? Oh, man, as long as you feel like uh, doing a little singing, get out there and give, old man, give. Let me get the piano. Come on, boy. Yeah. <laughs> That was a nice affair last night, Reverend. I enjoyed it myself, Brother Charlie. Them fellas that was looking for a unit green, did they find? Not yet, but they probably will have services in the morning.
Well, there's something slimy about them if you ask me. But they are such nice men. But it is funny, looking for somebody nobody ever knew. Have you seen Unit Green? Lord, it was Arnie. Where did you come from? Nowhere. Well, then, you slimy sneak go on right back there. I never saw things so high. You go out with a basket full of money, and you come back with a handful of food. You know, you see uh, Buster? Oh, no. But his mother tells me he's got a part-time job in a crate factory. Yeah, he ought to have a full-time job on the levee, a fertilizer plant or somewhere. Oh, don't be so foolish. Would make him too tired for his music. Where's Lolly? I don't know. Uh, looking for Unit Green, I reckon. Unit Green. If I hear that name again, I'll scream. Dear Lord, bless us with all mankind that thoughts of love is one from us. Amen. It's a heart in a lost brother. There's a man coming this way. Brother Bob, will you explain to the congregation? Yes, Rev. I'd be glad to. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for over a month or so, I've been receiving at my office in the city copies of songs, excellent songs, written by some fellow here in Junction 88, by the name of Unit Green. Unit Green? Never heard of 
Well, uh, I, I'm anxious. I'm very anxious to find this fellow because I think he has excellent possibilities. I um, want to find him and sign him up to a long-term contract. Thank you, Ev. I don't know who this person is, but whoever he is, he should be very proud. And we should be very proud to have such a promising young man among us. We have a uniform. Yes, Dr. Please, sir. I'm sorry to have caused so much trouble. Trouble? What are you talking about, Frank? Nothing. Only I'm Unit Green. You? Buster? Unit Green? Yes, sir. I wrote those songs. Well, a prophet is without honor only among his own. Well, there it is. The best contract any new writer ever received. No trick clauses and everything plain. It is that. Plain enough for church to print on the stand. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sign right here on the dotted line. And don't sign it unit three. Oh, this must be a very happy day for you, Mr. Jensen. Believe you, yes, I believe I could cry. Oh, oh don't, Sister Jackson. Pray. Pray the Buster will see the help of the Lord. Who's still Amen. What's your answer, Lolly? Lolly. I don't want to be lonely. When I'm lonely, I'm blue. I just want to be somewhere. Happy to be with you. 